Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and in this video, I want to show you how to simply program an LED PAR light with DMX. Behind me, in my studio here, I've got three lights set up. I've got these two directly behind me, our Eliminator Mini PAR RGBWs, and if you're looking for a simple, inexpensive LED PAR light, these are really my pick, and I have a full review of them actually here. I'll put that on the YouTube cards. I also have a cheap and generic um, old LED PAR that looks something like this. And so I want to show you how to control these basic lights with DMX. So the simplest method is if we have, and, and this is more visual too, if we have an old console like this Chauvet Obey 40, we can simply turn them up and down with such a console. Before we touch the console though, we've got to address something important first. And I use that kind of as a pun because we've got to set our DMX address. Now, when it comes to it, most lights these days are not gonna have these dip switches that this old cheap LED PAR has. But if you do encounter a light that has these dip switches, all you've got to do is go ahead, check the manual so you get it in the DMX mode, and then set the desired DMX address. Now what's that? If you're using a basic console like this Obey 40, it starts with DMX address 1 on the first fixture, and that takes up 16 channels. So then the second fixture could be at DMX 17, 33, and so on. Pretty simple. If you're using a piece of software, and I'm going to show you how to control these via software as well, like Entech DMXs, then you can go ahead and actually um, bring your light in, patch it on the DMX's screen, and then go ahead, see what the number is that the light's supposed to be, and set that on the back of the light. Now, how do we do that? Well, if you've got an old school light with dip switches like this, then each switch has a numerical value and each switch doubles. It's called a binary numbering scheme. And so the first number is 1, then the second switch is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. So if we wanted to get 17, for example, we would go here to the switch for 16, and we would go to the switch for 1, and when we, we would put those two up, leaving everything else down. And then we're good to go. With a much simpler light, a newer light, like these Eliminator Mini Par RGBWs and most lights that you buy these days, you'll simply find the address function within the menu on the back of the screen. You'll hit enter, you'll go up and down to hit the address, and then you'll most likely hit enter again. And for 99% of lights that are out there, that's going to set the address. No funny switches, no math. Hallelujah! So. Once you've got your addresses set, as I have behind me here, we can control them on our console. So with something like this Obey 40, the very first thing that I've done here is I'm going to go ahead and select my first fixture. I had it deselected, so I'm going to reselect it. It now lights up green. Once it lights up green, I can go ahead, put down all my channels, and bring up the first channel. As you can see behind me, hopefully you can see that, I get the first light in red. Then I get its green channel, then I get its blue channel, then I get its white channel. Adding them all together, you get a mushy white. So let's say we wanted to do a blue green. So I bring those channels as so. Then I go to my next light. Okay, so now we've got, we've got red, green, blue, W. Then it starts over again on my second light, which I addressed to five red, then I'll go to blue and we'll make kind of a, a purplish color, kind of a magenta. Awesome. Once you've dialed in the colors you want, you can then save it to a scene. In a controller like this, that means I'm going to go and press the MIDI slash add, then I press the scene, and then it is stored. I can press the MIDI slash add again to get out of it. If you're using a software like DMXs, it's even simpler. Instead of having to figure out what each channel is, they're all labeled in the DMXs interface. Now, all we do 
is bring up the faders we want and get those colors again this time I'm bringing up just uh, a blue and a little bit of green for a blue green and then a blue and a little or a lot of red and a little bit of blue for a nice purple actually a lot of blue and a little red once I do that I could just go to the banks and scenes save it as a preset or a scene but they're called presets in DMX's and then I can play that back I can build multiple scenes and fade between them no problem controlling my lights easily that in a nutshell is how you control an LED par with DMX but there's so much more to controlling an LED par or controlling lights in general which is why I want to get to you my guide to help you get started with lighting. It's here on the screen at learnstagelighting.com slash quiz. I'll run you through just a couple quick questions and then I'll send you a guide that pertains to your particular type of lighting and how to get started. Click the link here on the screen and be sure to subscribe to get the latest from us here at Learn Stage Lighting. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.